Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you have a great morning this morning. It is Thursday morning. <laughs> wow. Holidays for a couple of days. I already forgot what day it was. It is Thursday morning. As always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I had a wonderful day yesterday. Spent the day with my mother. I uh, haven't done that in a bit. And we just had a nice relaxing time. Talked about everything and uh, just nice relaxing. So um, makes it well worth it. Uh, today I want to revisit. I showed these guys a while ago. Gosh, I don't know how long ago. But I just want to revisit because I've been looking at their box sets. Staring at them up on, the, up on my shelf up there. And threw them on uh, when I got home last night. And wow. Well, and uh, I'll be listening to them most of the day today. It is, and I've got four of them here. It is the amazing Hawkwind. Just a wonderful, wonderful band. English space rock at its best. Formed way back in 1969. Uh, music combination of progressive rock, hard rock, space rock, psychedelic rock, new wave, like all over the map. Uh, the themes of the lyrics are uh, usually involved urban life and science fiction. Um, again, still active today. Some amazing artists have been in this band as well. Um, none other than Lemmy from Motorhead. Ginger Baker, Cream, <laughs> all kinds of other bands. And uh, a most recent box that I've received of this guy, Hugh Lloyd Langdon. Uh, an amazing guitarist and, and singer on the, in his own right. Uh, singer, songwriter, guitarist Dave Brock is the only active member, original active member, still in the band. And um, one of my favorite new bands, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizards, um, name Hawkwind is highly influential to their music. And I can see that because... Their music kind of combines everything that I just mentioned about Hawkwind. Um, and uh, if you don't know King Gizzard and Lizard Wizards, definitely check these guys out. They're, they're awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, they've released, uh, I think, 36 albums Hawkwind has. King Gizzard, I know, has released almost the same amount. Um, I don't have any on vinyl yet or unfortunately but i do have uh again there's another one of those notices i do have um four box sets by the band uh this is hawkwind the charisma years 1976 1976 to 1979 including four album set opens up like such um, there's a cool poster in the package. Uh, disc one, the astonishing sounds, amazing music. Again, on that charisma label um in this one here lemmy was replaced with uh, paul randolph on bass um lemmy had a heavy heavy fuzzy bass sound paul randolph is a cleaner type of sound um but uh you've got um 1976 released their sixth studio album it's a concept album um, and each song is a science fiction story, which is a cool, cool concept. These guys, uh, their songs are just out there for sure. Uh, then we have um, this two, uh, Quark, Strangest, and Charm. Again, on that Charisma label. Uh, this two is... Um, their seventh studio album, 1977 release. Awesome stuff. Disc three. Come on, I just had you open here. Um, they had to call themselves 
hawk lords at that time uh, as there was a some type of legal thing going on with their name hawkwind um this is uh, their eighth studio album hawk lords 25 years on uh more new wave than space rock on this one uh different name different sound but uh yeah cool stuff but yeah they were going through some legal legal stuff with their name hawkwind on that one and then disc four prx5 even the names kind of scientific i guess that's the front cover i'm sorry again on that charisma label um their ninth studio album again more new wave than uh, space rock on this one as well 1979 release but uh, you got Death Trap, Jack of Shadows, Uncle Sam's on Mars, which is kind of cool. Uh, Infinity Lifeform, Robot, High Rise, and PXR5 on Cherry Red Records. So that's one box set I have of these guys. Um, such great music. It, I wish I could play music on this channel. As you all know, we cannot copyright... That's all I'm going to say on that one. Uh, this is Emergency Broadcast Years, 1994 to 1997. Another four-box set. Yeah, these are great little box sets. They're not that expensive. And uh, you get everything that you need. Uh, this one has um, a 1994 release. The um, Business Trip Live, uh, recorded at the Thomas Valley University. Um, Altier, Quirk, Strangest, and Charm, LSD, The Camera That Would Lie, Green Finned Demon, Do That, The Day A Wall Came Down, Berlin Axis, Void of the Golden Light, The Right Stuff, Wastelands, The Dream Goes On, Right to Decide. The dream has ended in this future. There's the back cover there. Sorry for the glare. Um, then you have uh, Alien 4. Um, Alien 4 is the uh, uh, 20th studio album by the band. Um, Cool alien themes, abduct, abducted, reject your human touch, blue skin. I mean, just aliens, aliens, aliens all over that one. And then uh, there's two, a double live album, Gatefold. Some cool shots of the band. Uh, this is uh, disc three and four, and uh, it is... Um, Recorded in 1995, tour to support uh, Alien 4, the album. So you have Abducted, Death Trap, Wastelands, Are You Losing Your Mind, Photo Encounter, Blue Skin, Sputnik, Stan, Robot, Alien, um, Exomorph, Vega, La, uh, Love in Space, Kapal, Elfin, Silver Machine, Welcome to the Future, and Assassins. From this cool live set. And Disc 5 is uh, their 21st studio album, Distant Horizons. Again, on that cool label. Um, another fine, fine album. <clears throat> That's two box sets. There is a uh, another little poster that comes with this one. How do you open this up here? There we go. have um, this is uh, space disc 
or sorry, Space Chase, 1980 to 1985. Uh, little excerpts from uh, different albums. Uh, it opens up like such. Um, there is a, a, a nice mini book with this, quite thick actually. Um, explaining the, there's a cool concert shot. Picture the band. Um, these guys are good. These guys are really good. Uh, so yeah, there's, um, there's also a button in here as well. A Hawkwind button. Okay. Uh, there's also a fairly large poster. One CD in here, but you've got uh, four tracks from uh, Levitation 1980 release, their 10th album. You've got Levitation, Motor City Way, World of Tears, Tires, sorry, uh, Space Chase, and then Live 79 1980. Um, there's a single version uh, shot down in the night. And then Sonic Attack, uh, Sonic Attack is their 11th studio album 1991 release. You got Rocky Pass, Angel of Death. Living on a Knife Edge, uh, one track from Church of Hawkwind, uh, which is the 12th studio album, 1982 release, Choose Your Masks, uh, and then you have Silver Machine, there's Singles, 7-inch uh, Singles, 1982 release, Silver Machine, uh, and then Waiting for Tomorrow, and then uh, there's an EP, uh, Dragons and Fables, and then the Chronic of the Black Sword, Chronicle of the Black Sword, 1995 release. Um, two tracks from it, 1985 release, sorry, The Sea King and Needle Gun. So some cool stuff from that. So that's that box set, Space Chase. That's the back cover there. And finally, uh, one of my favorite box sets. Uh, this is Dust of Time, 1969 to uh, 2021. Pretty much covers everything. I'm not going to go into this exclusively be for time, but it does come with a a nice, uh, thick book. Okay. Who's that in front cover? There's Lemmy. Okay. Um, just some cool photos of the band some promotional stuff, album covers. Just a great, nicely packaged box set. And then you have a another poster, Victim of Sonic Attack. Then you've got the discs here. Uh, this is uh, Dust of the Dust of Time, CD one, 1969 to 1978. You've got 12 tracks on that one. Uh, the CDs are this cool color like that. Then you have 1972, 1975. Again, there's Lemmy there. Um, another 11 tracks on this one. And the CDs are all the same. Then you've got 1976 to 1979. Uh, Dust of Time, CD3. Uh, another 15 tracks on that one. Same CD. Then you've got uh, CD4, 1979 1982. With uh, 16 tracks on that one. And then um, 1982 to 1992 uh, with 15 tracks on that one. And 1993 to 2021 
with 12 tracks on that one. So amazing package, six CDs, 81 tracks of greatness over 50 years from this amazing band. Um, cool illustrated book. Um, just a continuation and, and greatness of psychedelic rock, hard rock, space rock, uh, new wave. Uh, if you don't know these guys, definitely check out Hawkwind. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to just to revisit uh, the band and um, have a good time doing it and show you what this is all about. And yeah, it's a cool box. That's out there. They're not that expensive. And I uh, hope you enjoy. And you can get a little button with it too. <laughs> Have yourself a great rest of the day. Love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. I'll probably be back again tomorrow with something. Um, and uh, take care. Bye now.